Shiny Pokemon are one of the best features about the Pokemon franchise. It's always amazing seeing those sparkles on your screen after a long hunt. However, some shinies do of course look better than others, and so in today's video, I thought we'd take a look at each type and figure out the best shiny. With that being said, today's video goes over the best shiny Pokemon of each type. Of course, this is all my own opinion at the end of the day, and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to hear updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy. Ok so starting things off we have the bug type and for me the best shiny pokemon of the bug typing is shiny scolopede. Now shiny scolopede doesn't change loads between its original form and its shiny form but the thing that I really like that does change is the rings on its um you know its, its back and its uh, horns they change from like a purple to like a really light blue and it really makes the shiny look really really good. I also love how the actual purple of the you know its its armor as you would say turns into a nice red it makes the shiny really look good and I didn't think that red and turquoise would go that well together because it's not really two colors that you usually um, you know put together but for shiny scolopede it really works out well and you know I like how the eyes turn green as well just as a, a, an extra little touch but for me shiny scolopede is the best looking shiny bug type Pokemon um, just yeah I love the red and I love the blue and it just it does go really well together so that is why shiny scolopede is the best shiny bug type in my opinion coming up next we have the dragon type and for me the best shiny of the dragon type Pokemon is Rayquaza now Rayquaza is just because you know for me dark shinies just look incredible like I'm pretty sure like a lot of people are going to agree with me on that dark shinies look absolutely amazing and Rayquaza doesn't disappoint here of course the normal design of Rayquaza like the green does look really nice but when it turns into like the black shiny it looks so much better and it's why so many people do want to get this shiny you know it's why loads of people soft, re th uh, soft reset thousands of times for the shiny it just looks absolutely incredible and the darkness of the I don't know what it is about dark shinies it just it just goes so well and then the yellow like lines on its body just really contemplate the dark and then the red as well it just it, it just tops it all off and so for me that is why Rayquaza is the best shiny looking dragon type Pokemon okay so coming up next is the ice type and for me the best looking ice type shiny is Alolan Ninetales now of course Alolan Ninetales is new to the franchise it did get introduced in Pokemon Sun and Moon when Alolan Pokemon were released but for me and it doesn't change loads but Obviously, a normal Alolan Ninetales looks amazing anyway, it is my favourite Alolan Pokemon. But then when it goes into its shiny form and it has like the light purple, just, I don't know, just really brings the shine out for me. And I love how the eyes and ears as well turn from like the dark blue into like a dark purple pink. It really makes Pokemon stand out. Like I said, it doesn't change loads, but for me, this Pokemon is definitely one of the best if not the best shiny ice type pokemon i mean lapras also looks incredible i was going to put lapras on this list but ice uh nine tails just took it for me just because it's new it's, it's a new feature you know alone forms everything like that but i really do like it like i've obviously hunted for an alone and vulpix before got super happy when i got there because now i can finally evolve it into an alone nine tails which is my favorite ice type shiny pokemon and so for me that is why alone nine tails is the best ice shiny pokemon Coming up next, we have the fighting type Pokemon, and for me, the best looking shiny Pokemon of the fighting type is Beware. Now, straight away, it's just because of like the golden that, it, like the golden color that it gets. Obviously, Beware is usually just like pink uh, with like the black body, and then it turns into like a golden. Um, but like the, the pink turns into a golden. For me, I've had a lot of nightmares about this Pokemon. I did hunt, I did hunt for a shiny Stuffle when we streamed, and that took over like five streams just to get the shiny Stuffle. So you know, it's a big nightmare for me. So when I finally evolved it into Beware, I was really happy. If if Stuffle didn't look as good, and if Stuffle and Beware didn't look as good as they do as a shiny, I would never have gone that many streams for a shiny Pokemon. But hey. Stuffle and well Beware is the best looking shiny fighting type in my opinion. Lucario looks really really nice as well but Beware just takes it for me because Lucario's is kind of like golden but it's like a it's got like a hint of like brown and green in it and I don't really like that. I do much prefer Beware's shiny so that is why Beware for me is the best shiny fighting type Pokemon. Okay so coming up next we have the fire type Pokemon and for me Charizard has to take the crown. 
Going back to Rayquaze with the black shiny, uh, I know this isn't completely black, it's like a little bit more purple as well, but this thing looks absolutely incredible. Everything about Shiny Charizard, I absolutely love. The skin color that it like, turns into the dark purple, that looks amazing. The wing color as well, like the red, just really contemplates the shiny color. And uh, like a lot of people, a lot of people think Charizard is overrated, but you can't, you can't not agree with me when you say Shiny Charizard does look incredible. Of course, when it evol uh, Mega evolves into Charizard Y, that shiny looks incredible. Mega Charizard X isn't as good. I don't, I'm not a big fan of like the green, but hey, Charizard and Charizard Y both do look amazing. And you know, the dark shiny just really takes the crown. So for me, that is why Charizard is the best looking fire shiny type Pokemon. So coming up next, we have the flying type Pokemon, and for me, Braviary has to be the best. I mean, normal Braviary looks amazing anyway. It's got like the red, um, and it, you know, it symbolizes America really. You know what I mean? It's like the American Pokemon. But when it gets its shiny form as well, the blue really, really looks nice. I really love the tail as well. I love how the tail um, kind of goes in the opposite. So with normal Braviary, you have like red, yellow, then blue on the tail. But with normal Brave, with shiny Braviary, you have red at the bottom then yellow then blue so it kind of swaps over and i really like that and just the blue in general i like blue is my favorite color anyway so blue is probably my favorite like second favorite shiny after like the dark black shinies so braviary definitely holds a place in my heart for that but yeah i just love the design of shiny braviary it just looks amazing so for me that is why shiny braviary takes the um you know the flying spot coming up next we have the grass type shiny pokemon and for me whimsicott takes the crown now a lot of people might disagree with this because it doesn't look like too different like the only thing that really changes is well i mean everything does change but it only changes like slightly so like the cotton of the pokemon that changes from like a nice little yellow to like a a, a crystal white which i really like the kind of like little curly horns turn from green to blue which you know i'm not the biggest fan of the blue color but it still looks really nice uh but it does go really well with the eye color and then the body goes from like a light brown to a dark brown now like I said, a lot of people might disagree with this, but I really do like it. I just love how, you know, all the colors kind of just go together a lot. And there aren't that many good shiny grass type Pokemon. Obviously, there are, like, some really good ones. Like, I'm a big fan of Meganium as well. But Whimsicott, for me, definitely takes it. Just like I say, the colors really go well together. And, you know, when you see this guy sparkling on your screen, how can it not make you smile? And so, for me, that is why Whimsicott takes the best grass shiny Pokemon. So, coming up next, we have the ghost type Pokemon. And for me, Aegislash has to take, has to take the crown. Now, it's, it, just everything about it just looks incredible. Like, the yellow, which, uh, the, like, the purple that goes into yellow, that looks amazing. I love the red tint on the sword. That looks incredible. The eye changing from white to yellow. Big fan of that. And then, to top it all off, I love how the, you know, the yellow turns into, like, a, a gray-black. Like I say, a dark, shiny Pokemon for me look incredible. And so, Aegislash definitely doesn't disappoint here. I really like the blade as well, like, the red, um swords uh, like for the blade of shiny i really like that but egg slash for me I, I just take like it just looks incredible like how can you not like this shiny pokemon and so that is why egg slash is the best looking shiny ghost type pokemon coming up next we have the ground type pokemon and for me primal groudon has to take the crown it's another dark shiny everything about it looks amazing like i'm not a big fan of the regular shiny groudon don't really like the green on that or anything like that but when it's got when it got its primal oh that's sad uh, that's that's where that's where you go up in the higher ranks as well just like primal groudon primal kyogre is dark as well that looks incredible but for me the yellow just really really goes with the dark coloring of this pokemon like the yellow and the black just when you've got those two on a shiny pokemon you can't not like it like mega ray quasar like i was saying earlier looks incredible mega groudon looks really really good and you know dark shinies like i say you just can't not like them and so for that's why for me groudon is the best ground type shiny pokemon Okay, so coming up next, we have the electric type Pokemon, and for me, Luxray takes the ground. It's another dark and yellow shiny, like, it just really goes to, like, well together. Like, normal Luxray's design does look amazing. The blue really does go well with the blue and the yellow, but when it's getting its shiny form and it all just turns to yellow, it's just, oh, it just looks like a golden, I don't know, it's just like, it's like a golden beast. It just looks incredible. The eyes get a little bit darker. It, everything about it just looks amazing. I mean, how can you not love the shiny Pokemon? Uh, like, Luxray is my favorite electric type Pokemon anyway, so it might be a little bit biased, but the shiny definitely disappoint, and you cannot really disagree with that. And so that is why shiny Luxray is the best looking shiny electric type Pokemon, in my opinion. Okay, so coming up next is the normal type Pokemon. Another bi uh, another biased one, you could say. But for me, Shiny Eevee does take the crown. Like I say, Eevee's normal design looks, looks incredible. But when you get a Shiny form and the brown goes into like a, a crystal, like, you know, beige, yellow, like, beige white kind of color, it really goes well with the, um, the fur on its, like, neck. Like, 
that doesn't really change color too much it gets a little bit whiter but um it really does go with the new skin color of eevee and i really like it like i say there are a bunch of other good shiny normal type pokemon out there like there's so many people that are going to disagree with my options on this list everyone is entitled to their own opinion i just think that uh these shinies are the best from like what i've researched like a lot of people have mentioned these high above in their list so it's not like just personal opinion as well as well, well it is obviously just personal opinion personal opinion but i've also done a bit of research on this and looked at what everyone's favorite shinies are and so this is how i've come up with this list but shiny eevee for me definitely takes the crown for the best looking normal shiny type pokemon Okay, so coming up next, we have the Poison type Pokemon, and for me, Mega Gengar definitely takes the crown. Now, we all know how you like not the normal Gengar looks. It it looks awful. It barely looks any different from its uh, regular form, and that is why Shiny Gengar is probably one of my least favorite shinies. But when it gets its Mega Evolution, oh boy, it really turns it up in the ranks. The white coloring that goes into like a faded pink looks absolutely amazing and i don't understand why they didn't make this shiny for regular gengar it would have looked absolutely incredible but mega gengar really does it justice at the end of the day like there, there was a, i was losing a lot of hope for gengar in his shiny but the mega gengar knocks on the door he's like hey don't worry i've got you and he produces one of the best looking shinies you're ever gonna see and that is why mega gengar takes the best uh, poison type shiny pokemon Coming up next, we have the Psychic type Pokemon, and for me, Mega Gardevoir definitely takes the crown. Now, Mega normal Mega Gardevoir looks awesome anyway. I, I'm a big fan of Gardevoir, but Mega Gardevoir looks incredible. It, again, it's the it's the the darkness of the on the shiny skirt. It looks incredible, but it really goes well with the blue and the red as well, and the white. It just obviously black and white are completely opposite colors, but when you put them together and you know you add some blue in there, you add some red in there, it definitely looks amazing. Like normal regular like. Normal Gardevoir, uh, as in like the shiny version, is you know really nice anyway. But when it gets its Mega Evolution and the the skirt turns black, ah, it really takes the crown for me. And so that is why uh, Mega Gardevoir is the best shiny Psychic type Pokemon in my opinion. Coming up next, we have the Rock type shiny Pokemon, and for me, the best looking Rock shiny is a Gigalith. I really am a big fan of normal Gigalith. Uh, the red really goes with like this, the color of the stones and everything like that. But when it gets its shiny form, it does the red does turn into like a you know like a light turquoise blue and then the i think these stones actually get a little bit more purple as well but um it really goes well like like i said the turquoise really goes with the dark purple and i really do like the look of shiny gigalith uh, and i can't really say much more about it like i like that it, it it's a very simple shiny but it still looks really nice it does its job you know it's different from the regular form and that is why gigalith takes the best looking shiny rock type pokemon in my opinion Coming up next we have the water type pokemon and for me you know, Greninja has to take it. Greninja is my favorite looking shiny Pokemon anyway, and it's for a number of ways. Firstly, the dark shiny, you know, big fan of it, you know, just pulls on your heartstrings. And then again, the, the tongue turning a little bit more red, that looks insane as well. And then it just the white, like, um, kind of like bubble things on its arms and legs, they look incredible as well. And it just all goes together to make one of the best looking shiny Pokemon in the franchise, in my opinion. Like, I don't, I've never met anyone that doesn't really like, like, that doesn't like shiny Greninja. It looks insane. Like, normal Greninja looks amazing anyway. We all know that. Like, it's a big Pokemon. But then when he gets shiny form as well, oh, it just looks insane. When you hatch a Froakie, you know you're getting that amazing shiny Greninja. But that is why Greninja takes the best shiny water type Pokemon in my books. Next up, we have the dark type Pokemon, and for me, Umbreon has to take the crown. Like, like Umbreon is a dark shiny, obviously, which that's amazing anyway. But that doesn't really change too much from its normal form. Now, normal Umbreon looks pretty much exactly the same, but the the rings on it, it are yellow, but they turn into blue. And I don't know why, but it just makes this Pokemon look so amazing. Like, so many people love shiny Umbreon, even though there's barely any differences. It still looks amazing. And like, I'm not really a fan of Pokemon that's uh, regular and shiny form look quite similar. I'm not really a fan of that, but Umbreon definitely changes my mind. I don't know, maybe it's an evolution, maybe it's because it's dark shiny, maybe it's because the blue goes really well with the dark. I have no idea, but for me, shiny Umbreon looks absolutely incredible, and that is why, in my opinion, it is the best looking shiny dark type Pokemon. Coming up next, we have the Steel type Pokemon, and for me, Shiny Metagross has to take the crown. Shiny Metagross looks absolutely incredible. Like, the yellow really, really goes well with, like, the grey, and the grey really, like, brings out its Steel typing as well. And, you know, it just looks insane. And Mega Metagross as well, just, oh, it just looks so, so good. And a fun fact about Mega Metagross is that it is... It is made up of Beldum, Matang, and Metagross. I don't know if you guys do that, but that's a fun little fact if you didn't know it. But it shiny does look insane anyway. But normal Metagross looks, oh my lord, absolutely incredible. 
incredible. I have a shiny Metagross, use it in all my shiny hunting live streams, and I'm not I'm, I'm the biggest fan of it. It's definitely one of my favorite shiny Pokemon, and that is why Metagross takes uh, the best uh, the best steel shiny type Pokemon. Finishing things off and coming up with the last typing, it is of course Fairy, and for me, the best looking Fairy type shiny Pokemon is uh, Tapu Koko. Well, all the Tapus really at the end of the day, but Tapu Koko for me definitely takes it. And it's just because it's another dark shiny, you know, I just, God, something about them, I just love them, it pulls me in towards them. Uh, it just, like, the orange doesn't change, we know that, it's just the yellow turns into like a black, like a darkness, and it just, like, when, when Nintendo were giving these out for free with the event, I was like, I'm hopping on board with that, I'm getting myself a free shiny Tapu Koko, because this thing was shiny locked until that event. So hopefully they bring out all the other Tapus, soon uh obviously uh, obviously there's only tapu coco right now that's legitimately a shiny since i'm making this video but they all do look incredible but shiny tapu coco looks insane and so that is why for me it is the best looking theory shiny type pokemon but with that, it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you guys did enjoy the video though, please do leave a like. I would really, really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions too on this subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I do have a couple of top fives coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you have the time. And also, do subscribe if you do enjoy my content and you did enjoy today's video. That is everything from me though, so thank you so much for watching again guys. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video.